Hey there! I'm in the beautiful Kali Basin in Hungary and I like to do something I've never done before. I'm going to do a bike review. So this is my mountain bike which I purchased about six months ago. I made about 1500 kilometers with it so I think that's enough to to know it well and to do a review. So it's a Scott scale 980. That means it's one of the cheaper bikes of this company. So Scott is quite a quite an expensive brand and the bike is well not really the cheapest of this brand but it's in the lower lower mid range. So normally this is not a good idea to do something like that because uh, when you when you go to an expensive brand uh, you should also, at least that's what most people say, you should also take one of the more expensive um, bikes because in many cases you don't really get good value for the money. Why did I do it anyway? So there are three reasons. One of the reasons was availability. So I didn't want to bike. Uh, I didn't want to buy the bike in the internet. I wanted to go to a shop, and this bike was available. The next reason, it. So all the bikes of this brand Scott have quite robust frames. So uh, this one has uh, a recommended maximum system weight of 130 kilograms so uh, I'm not a small guy I weigh about let's say 95 kilograms then I wear some some, some clothes uh, often I have a backpack with me and the bike itself also weighs I don't know uh, I think it's 13 13 kilograms so uh, that was one of the reasons because many other bikes only have a system weight of 115 and uh, maybe 100, 120 kilograms. So that's reason number two. And finally reason number three for selecting this bike. It was reduced so the standard price for this bike is something like 1100 or, or even 1200 euros and I got it for 900 which is I think quite a good deal. So these are the three reasons. Now let's have a look at the features. So first of all, and this was one of my absolute requirement, requirements, it has only one sprocket in the front and 12 gears on the rear. So I didn't want to have um, multiple sprockets in the front like all my other bikes uh, because well just just because it's uh, it's simpler. So there is only one one switch at the handlebar and not two of them. So makes it all simpler and for me biking has a lot to do with minimalism. So I mean, I could use a car, I could use an electric bike, whatever. But biking to me means simplicity, minimalism. So that's why I didn't want to have two or more sprockets in the front and only one, one lever to switch the gears. So the gear switching system is not really high-end. I mean it's a Shimano Diore, it's not XT or something like that, so it's a it's a simple, a little bit heavier and maybe not so smooth gear switching system, but so far I found it okay. So it's it's you really notice that it's a little bit unsmooth. It takes a bit longer for switching the gears than maybe the high-end XT system, but but it's not an important thing for me. 
The saddle is absolutely okay, it seems to be quite robust and durable. Works good for me. What I don't like that much is the handlebar. I don't know why that is, but almost all of the mountain bikes you can you can get have this from my point of view extremely long handlebar. And I don't know, I really don't know why that is, because um, for me it would be it would be fine if, if it would end here. Um, the the only advantage is that you have a lot of space in the middle so you can you have a good position to 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 grip the handlebar here uh, just to switch your your grip positions um, maybe I'm gonna buy some some bar ends to have even more uh, positions but I didn't do that so far so I mean it's it's okay but I really don't understand what the point of these extremely long handlebars are and it, it can be a bit inconvenient if you if you don't have much space and so sometimes you you don't even get through um, um, yeah when you are on a on a single trail you really have space issues so the next thing is suspension nothing special here it's a it's a sun tour one of the cheaper ones i would say uh, but suspension is actually not that important to me you have this uh, lockout which you can use so you have the switch on the handlebar where you can turn off suspension it's a it's a lockout mechanism which i have to say i have tried out but i don't have any use of it the brakes are also shimano disc brakes i have to say that i would have preferred caliper brakes rim brakes over disc brakes but i mean they they do their job they work fine and of course the big difference uh, the big advantage of these disc brakes is that they work better in bad weather conditions so they don't get wet that easily okay so what else do we have The tires are of a brand Maxis, I think it's an, an US brand, and they are 29 inches. I didn't have any problem so far. Um, I must say that actually I prefer tires from uh, Schwalbe, so all of my all of my tires are actually Schwalbe tires and I made very good experiences with them, especially the Marathon series. But okay, these also seem to be good quality. I didn't have any issues. Uh, they have good grip. No problem with the tires. The frame is of course aluminum frame. I actually was thinking about buying a bike with a carbon frame which would have been of course a little bit more a little bit lighter and I have never had a carbon frame before so I would have liked to try this out but then uh, somehow rationality won and I bought this much cheaper bike with an aluminum frame. So, um, so is, is weight important? Uh, not, I, I don't think, at least for a guy that weighs 95 kilos like myself, uh, it is not really important. Uh, but it, the good thing about a lightweight bike is that uh, you, uh, when you, when you carry the bike, when you have to carry it, uh, it's it's much more convenient if the bike is light. But this one is is okay. It's absolutely fine, and 
yeah i can i can really recommend this bike and also i like i like the color i mean you can have different opinions about these uh yellow handlebar ends i mean the yellow is not not the issue but the thing is that they get turned they they get dirty quite easily another thing i almost forgot to mention are 12 gears enough you know there are bikes with 27 gears which is quite standard there are even bikes with more gears than that and of course the number of effective gears is much smaller so when you have 27 you actually have i would say something like 15 or 16 effective gears uh, because they overlap but still the especially the spread of the gears so the difference between the smallest and the largest gear is smaller for a, for a 12 gear bike so does it matter for me i have to say it's absolutely okay so especially when you go uphill i never had any issue trying to find an even smaller gear um, going downhill yes i have to say that uh, if you really want to keep pedaling when you go 45 50 kilometers per hour or even faster uh, you cannot really do that so on the on the high side um, there is a difference but actually when you when you think rationally and if you're not into racing or things like that it's absolutely fine to have these 12 gears and it's it's much easier you only have one one gear shifter um, only one gear shifting uh, mechanism can break so okay let's go difficult to cycle in this terrain I'm still holding the camera with one hand okay so that was not a good idea I should have taken my my camera adapter for the bike handlebar but this is just a spontaneous video which I didn't plan okay so, to summarize, it's quite a nice bike. I am happy with the decision to purchase it. Okay, plot twist. I got a flat tire. So, the Maxxis tires doesn't seem to be that great. And my opinion that Valve Marathon is the greatest tire has been confirmed. So I have about 18 kilometers, I think, to walk home. But I called my wife and I hope she will come here to pick me up. I mean, I'm a bit stupid. I didn't bring a pump with me, nor did I bring, uh, bring a spare tire. Um, yeah, that's what it is. Didn't expect that. So, yeah, hope my wife will come here and bring me back home. So, always make sure to, to get high quality tires i mean it was a, i'm 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 aware that it's a bit dangerous to cycle around in the grassland where there is much a lot of thorny stuff lying around but the schwabe marathon tires can can handle that 
quite good. So I did this tour many times with my other bike, with the Marathon tires. Okay, so have a nice time. Hope to see you in my next video, which will be probably about a completely different topic. Bye-bye.